Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my six month update of using Retin-A for anti-aging. So in a previous video, I explained the reasons that I wanted to start using tretinoin or Retin-A and I showed you the very first tube that I got from my doctor by prescription. It was 0.01% strength in the cream form of tretinoin. This is the tube. It is now officially empty. So I finished that tube. It's 25 grams worth that I finished at about maybe four months after using it. And this is the new tube that I got prescribed. I went ahead and got the exact same strength, which is 0.01%, again in the cream form, and I decided to continue using it. So in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about how my skin reacted when I first started using it and how it has progressed and if I have seen any changes. So to start with, when I first started using Retin-A, I did experience a lot of dryness, particularly around my mouth area. Uh, the area that was on my forehead and on my nose and even underneath my eyes seemed to tolerate the tretinoin really, really well and I didn't get too much dryness, but the area around my cheeks and around my mouth got really, really dry to the point that I actually ended up buying a cream to start applying on top of the So tretinoin. this is the cream that I decided to buy to combat the dry skin that I was experiencing on my lower face area. It's the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream for Normal to Dry Skin. And I really like this. It comes in a really big tube. It has a lot of really good reviews. This tube is 227 grams. I think it was around $17 or something like that. So it really was reasonably affordable for the volume that you get. So once I started using tretinoin, I switched up my evening routine and instead of doing what I used to do, I started just cleansing my face with my usual cleanser. I would towel dry off my face, wait for my skin to dry a little bit, and then apply the tretinoin in a pea-sized amount that I just dotted around my face. After the tretinoin soaked in, I started using the CeraVe cream on the areas of my face that were experiencing extreme dryness. And I found that that was very soothing, although because my skin was so dry, it actually tingled or burned a little bit in the areas that were super dry. So that was definitely one of the things that I had to kind of get used to. And after a while, it sort of wore off. I felt like my skin got a little bit more well adjusted to the tretinoin and I didn't need to keep using the CeraVe moisturizer afterwards. In addition, I did a little bit of research and I found um, that it's not really a good idea to apply moisturizer on top of the tretinoin or with the tretinoin. It is most effective if you don't do that, I guess, because you're kind of diluting the potency. So I tried to avoid using the cream with the tretinoin. Uh, in the evenings and so now I only use it every once in a while but I will say that my skin even after six or seven months of using the tretinoin daily is still very dry around my mouth area it does tend to get better and then get worse so I feel like it is on a cycle where the skin kind of sheds off and it looks a little bit better and then it starts to shed off again and I do continue to use the tretinoin every day whether it is flaking and dry or not. So I'm not really cutting back. I did cut back on the use a little bit earlier in the first month or so when I started to feel that my skin got really sensitive and a little bit sore and dry. I did cut back to using it every few days instead of every day, but then I ramped back up once I felt that my skin had adjusted. So that's kind of what I experienced as far as the initial reaction. Now, one other thing I wanted to talk about is that people refer to the Retin-A uglies or the tretinoin uglies, I guess, which is that when you start using tretinoin, basically what's supposed to happen is that if there's any impurities or anything on the lower layers of your skin, they will be brought to the surface because the tretinoin is causing an increased cell turnover in your skin cells. So that's happening at a faster pace. So you may experience some breakouts all over your face. And I pretty much don't normally, before using tretinoin, I, don't, I didn't normally get a lot of breakouts. Um, and so I did end up getting a few small breakouts here and there, but it was nothing too extreme that really uh, bothered me too much. Although I will say I have been consistently working from home. I'm home most of the time, so I'm not really seeing anyone. So in that sense, it doesn't really bother me. And uh, in general, because the breakouts were so minimal, really like just one pimple here or there on occasion, and it didn't really seem to happen 
um, on a regular basis. It hasn't been too bad. I will say what's a little bit frustrating is depending on your skin tone and in the case of my skin tone anyway, if I do get a breakout, I will sometimes have a darkening of the skin as that breakout kind of clears up. And I found that that is a little bit frustrating because one of the reasons that you're using the tretinoin or that I'm using the tretinoin is to deal with the darkening or dark spots or melasma hyperpigmentation that I have around my eyes. And so now I was using the tretinoin to kind of lighten the spots that the tretinoin itself caused by causing me breakouts. So there's a little bit of frustration with that. And I do understand that that's part of the process that you have to go through when you're first starting tretinoin until your skin kind of adapts to using it on a regular basis. So it really hasn't been too bad. And as I said, I have started my second tube, so I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing. So as far as the results go, as I mentioned, in my previous video, I am using it uh, primarily to deal with some hyperpigmentation and melasma. Um, some of the hyperpigmentation is probably from uh, just sun exposure throughout the years, and I am 45 years old, so I have had my fair share of exposure to the sun. I do always wear sunscreen diligently. Uh, but at the same time, you can't completely avoid it. So I do believe I have some hyperpigmentation from that, as well as some melasma that I developed during both of my pregnancies. And that I think is kind of trickier to deal with, and I'm not sure that the tretinoin is doing uh, the best job. However, when I do look at my before and after pictures, um, I'm not sure if I'll post them in this video or if I will post them in my one year update because it might be more of a dramatic change by then. But if I look at my before and after pictures, I do definitely see that any sort of marks that I noticed under my eye area, that's typically where I tend to notice those spots. I do notice that they have faded quite a bit. Some of them have disappeared completely and some of them I do still see, but when I compare to my before pictures, I actually see that they've faded quite a bit. So I definitely think that it's working. So as far as wrinkles go, as I had previously mentioned, I'm not too concerned with the way that my face is aging to date. I don't think that I have an excess of wrinkles that I'm really trying to combat. I do have some wrinkling around my eyes, which I think is like pretty normal. I do have nasolabial folds, which I believe is just kind of related to my bone structure, the way that um, the fat is distributed on my face, the amount of fat that's on my face, and just the way that my bones are. I've always had these lines here, and I'm not expecting uh, tretinoin to really address anything to do with those uh, and I don't really have a lot of wrinkling in my forehead I don't have deep lines or the 11s uh, luckily I don't really have anything too significant there so it's very difficult for me to see any difference or progress in that area I don't think that I've uh, seen an increase in wrinkling however I will say that because the tretinoin dries my skin so much that sometimes it feels like it looks like it's more wrinkled because it's kind of dehydrated and just dry. So that is a little less appealing, but I don't think that that's actually wrinkling uh, or deep wrinkles forming. I think that's just a side effect of adjusting to the tretinoin. I did start using the tretinoin in September. It is now April, so I guess it's officially seven months of using this. Um, and I will say that I'm pleased with the results. I'm planning to continue using it. I did get three repeats on my prescription, so I'm still at 0.01%. That's my progress to date. I hope this has helped you out.